Hi there, this is Kelly with Theory of Curiosity. And today I'd like to show you an interesting and niche photography technique that I learned. As a photographer, I often wonder, how can my camera be used to reveal things that would otherwise be invisible to me? There are two techniques I recently came upon that, when used together, can show you really amazing data and reveal things that you can't otherwise see with very simple equipment. This is the use of difference layers in Photoshop along with background oriented Schlieren to visualize air pressure changes and other pixel level details that would otherwise be invisible to me. Put simply, the background oriented Schlieren technique is a technique for visualizing air pressure, density and heat differences using a normal camera. To see the air density change from a candle flame, you would use the following setup. You have a camera on a tripod with a zoom, and then you have it pointing towards a background that has a lot of really fine detail. Here we used felt. So you start by capturing an image of the felt just as is. And then you can introduce something like a candle flame between the two, and you take another image. The heat of the candle will cause a slight bit of bending in the air, and therefore the pixels on the background felt will be refracted ever so slightly. And what you'll be able to see is that slight bending of light. The final step to the process is to take the two frames, one without the flame, one with, and open them in Photoshop. You then set the layer with the flame on top and set it to difference blend mode. You can then amplify the signal by duplicating the difference layer and setting it to divide mode. And then to amplify the signal even more, you can add a curves layer and crank it completely until only the shadows remain on clip. And what you'll be able to see is the intensity of light bending. You can use this technique to see light being bent by even less than a pixel's width on a camera sensor. What the difference layer does in Photoshop is that it essentially subtracts the top layer's RGB number from the bottom layer's RGB number and gives you a new color value that is that new number. So how is this useful, you may ask? Well, when testing airplanes and jets, one has to know how they'll perform aerodynamically. And building a wind tunnel the size of an airplane is prohibitively expensive, and doing computer simulations isn't 100% accurate. There is, however, a much simpler way of visualizing airflow. By using the sun or the ground to replace kind of the high detail felt that we have in our previous demonstration, you can actually start seeing the shock waves and air pressure waves that airplanes, jets, and such stuff give off. The folks at NASA were able to use that technique to capture these images and this video that I'll show you right now. And now, if we take that footage and layer it in difference mode, we can start seeing where on um, the jet the shock waves start originating from. Scientists also use this difference method when looking at the sun and how it has changed in the last 60 minutes or so. There's this amazing website called helioviewer.org where you can look at the live view of the sun and see only where it has changed in the last 60 minutes and by how much. And it kind of gives you a new sense of how active the sun is and where it's active and so on. But the most elaborate technique is one that totally blew my mind. By placing cameras around an object, kind of like in the matrix bullet time mode, then by using a fancy math algorithm, you can combine those images and get a 3D structure video of, of what the air pressure, density, and heat differences are like. This is very similar to how CT scanners and 3D x-ray machines work. They capture images from all around and then by using an algorithm they can reconstruct the 3D kind of structure of what they're looking at. So I hope you learned something interesting in this video and if you can figure out a new way of using this technique, list it in the description below so that others can see it. Also, if you like this video and channel, please consider supporting us on Patreon to help make this video production a lot more sustainable for us. Thank you.